Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video we are going to do an FAQ on the new Vivo V9. So we have been getting a lot of questions on the Vivo V9 which is a flagship device for Vivo in India and this comes with a lot of interesting aspects uh, and the pricing is 22,990 so that's 23k for the 4GB RAM and 64GB storage variant. So let's get started with the FAQ on this device. So let's start off with the sensors available on this device. So we have installed the sensors app on this device and you can see all the sensors are included there is no sensor missing on this device all the basic sensors like uh, accelerometer magnetic sensor gyroscope proximity light sensor and all the important sensors are available on the vivo v9 so there is nothing missing on the vivo v9 now talking about the display so this device comes uh, with uh, a 6.3 inch full hd plus resolution display and uh, mind you the uh, aspect ratio is not 18 is 9 instead it's 19 is 9 and we have this notch included so that makes the device uh, having 19 is 9 aspect ratio and uh, talking about the display quality it's a really good display panel out there uh, the full hd panel looks really smooth and uh, the colors are really punchy and vivid and uh, it's really sharp as well there is a pre-installed uh, screen guard available so you can see here there is a screen guard already installed so it's better to use that screen guard and if you want a tempered glass you can uh, buy a tempered glass for this device so that's the display aspect of the vivo v9 now talking about the sim cards as yes, this device comes with a uh, dual sim cards and uh, it is a dedicated sd card slot so that means you can use uh, two sim cards and uh, a micro sd card together so the slot available on the left side has uh, three slots uh, it has uh, two uh, nano sim card slot and one micro sd card slot so that has a dedicated sd card slot included so that's some one good feature of the vivo v9 now the device uh, comes with support for Volte, you can uh, see that we are already using a Geo SIM card with Volte support so no issues on that front and the storage available is 64GB that's the only variant available and you get uh, good uh, storage out of the box on this device. Now talking about the fingerprint scanner and face unlock, so the fingerprint scanner is placed on the rear panel so it does a really good job, it's one of the fastest fingerprint scanners available right now in this price segment and it does a really good job in unlocking the device and we also done a video on the face unlock feature, uh, it works really well and you can also check out that video, it's really fast uh, and unlocks the device without any sort of issues, even in dark conditions the face unlock works uh, because the screen acts as a uh, option to provide more light to the face and uh, screen unlock works in darker environment as well now talking about the software so this device is powered by android 8.1 oreo out of the box and we have this uh, vivo's uh, fun touch os that's uh, os uh, which is a custom ui you can see the fun touch os and uh, it has uh, the fun touch os uh, is version 4.0 and you can see that uh, android version is android 8.1 out of the box and it offers a lot of additional features uh, like dual app support uh, then uh, we have uh, additional features like one handed mode smart split screen then app clone a screenshot option then smart motion so there are lots of features included along with that you also have support for themes for customization now talking about uh, the performance and uh, uh, the, the processor so this device is powered by the snapdragon 626 octa core chipset clocked at 2.2 gigahertz we have 4 gigabyte ram and the overall performance looks pretty good uh, there's no lags whatsoever and it was quite smooth experience overall and the gaming experience was also quite good we also done a detailed video on the gaming performance of this device you can also check out that video for more details now talking about the battery life so this device comes with 3260 mAh battery so the battery capacity is not very high uh, considering that a lot of devices have now moved to 4000 and 3500 mAh but it has 3260 mAh battery and it has to power a massive 6.3 inch display but uh, we felt that the battery performance was quite good on this device although uh, vivo does not provide uh, the on-screen time uh, option it, there is no option to check the on-screen time on the front touch choice but uh, we can uh, uh, easily get uh, slightly more than a day almost like uh, close to more than a day with a uh, moderate usage so it will easily last more than a day with uh, average usage so the snapdragon 626 we all know it's a good uh, chipset in terms of the battery performance and optimization and that uh, really plays a good role here so the battery shouldn't be a major concern because you get more than a day with the moderate usage but unfortunately there is no support for fast charging included we tried with multiple fast chargers but uh, all the uh, uh, cases it was almost similar and it took almost uh, two hours to charge the device so that's a uh, quite uh, high time to charge the device 
Now this UI does come with USB OTG out of the box. Uh, you need to enable the OTG functionality. You can see here there is an option to enable OTG. And uh, once you enable the OTG functionality, you can connect your pen, computer peripherals and pen drives to this device. Now looking at the notification LED, uh, you can see that uh, the notification LED is included here. So this is the place uh, in the notch we have this notification LED included along with uh, uh, the earpiece and the front facing camera. There is a notification LED also included. Now to check the speaker performance, uh, let's just play a uh, video from our channel. So speaker performance looks quite okay, not the loudest out there, but uh, the clarity of the speaker looks pretty good. Now talking about the cameras, uh, this device comes with pretty good cameras. It has a 24 megapixel front facing camera and a dual uh, camera on the rear panel and it has a 16 and 5 megapixel shooter. And it's the first year smartphone from Vivo in India with a, a uh, dual camera setup. And we also done a detailed camera review so you can also check out that video to get an idea about the camera performance. So overall the Vivo V9 definitely has a good camera. Now talking about the build quality, a lot of users have been asking us whether this is metal or a plastic build uh, to uh, confirm that uh, this is a plastic build in fact uh, so uh, Vivo has not used a metal build, it's a plastic build, it's a glossy plastic build while the build quality looks pretty good, it's a fingerprint magnet, you can see a lot of fingerprint attracted to this uh, build and uh, so we use the device without the case provided in the box pack and you can see that a lot of uh, scratches have been uh, accumulated on the rear panel so here you can see some scratches included so it's always uh, better to use uh, the device with uh, the case because it's a plastic build and uh, scratches it scratches the back panel if you're not using uh, a good uh, quality case so it's always uh, advisable to use with a case so that was the faq on the vivo v9 if you still have any questions you can drop in a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions so this is Dhamma signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.